very dear pro chancellor sami atma priyanand ji the vice chancellor swami sarvottam anand ji the administrative head of this off campus center at narendrapur sami sarvolokanand ji and learned members of the faculty and dear students i learned from the pro chancellor that today we are going to inaugurate the courses for the freshers and it is so nice of swami atmapriyanand ji for having remembered me on this excellent occasion for a chancellor's message i am very glad to welcome you this new batch of students to our rkm bhari a deemed university and the soft campus center at narendra pur in the first place i congratulate you for your success in getting admission to rkm bhari you will soon realize how fortunate you were in entering the portals of rkm bhari and thereby becoming members of the large student group of the ramakrishna mission some of you may have already studied in a school or college run by the mission for others this may be their first experience of a ramakrishna mission institution we run more than 400 schools and colleges in which nearly 2.5 lakh students study among all your institutions our institutions are came very as a very special place for more than one reason this university was envisioned by shami vivekananda himself he prophesied about it during the last days of his mortal life shami ji was a prophet par excellence his wish had come true after a little more than a century of his maha samadhi arkem bhari was founded in 2005 on a site very close to belu mart compared to other universities rkm bhari is still very young we agree but within this short time it has carved the niche for itself by its commitment to bringing excellence in higher education you will be happy to know that last year this university in its very first cycle of nac assessment obtained the highest grade of a plus plus when we say that shami vivekananda wished starting of a university you should remember that his concept of a university was quite different he didn't want a university that will churn out only scholars who lack qualities of a good character or a feeling heart he wanted a university where man making and character building education would be imparted higher values would be inculcated and all round personalities would be formed his own concept of a complete 
all round personality was one with heart to feel, head to conceive, and hands to work. This harmonious development of the hand, heart, and head is essential not only for success in one's own life, but also for the welfare of society. Swami Vivekananda once remarked, I quote, excess of knowledge and power without holiness makes human beings devils, unquote. I think you will fully agree with this statement. We have a number of examples around us to prove how intelligent and educated people can become the cause for suffering of entire societies or nations. This has to be stopped at any cost. In the educational institutions of the Ramakrishna mission, we emphasize this harmonious development. I repeat, we emphasize this harmonious development. Much, of course, depends on your personal interest and effort also. Dear students, doing well in academics is important, no doubt. But a good academic record alone cannot guarantee a successful career. In personal as well as corporate field, success depends to a great extent on how well you can live with others, how well you can work in tandem with others, in synergy, peacefully and joyfully. These abilities are technically called interpersonal skills or soft skills. Unlike specialized and technical skills, Interpersonal skills or soft skills are needed every day and in every area of our lives. There are a number of essential soft skills and there is a plethora of literature on them. But I tell you one very important secret of soft skills. It is unselfishness. If you can become more unselfish, and think of good of others, then of yours you will succeed in your work. Shami Vivekananda said, I again quote, unselfishness is not pain, only people have not the patience to practice it. Unquote. Swamiji went further and even identified unselfishness with God himself. As you become unselfish, you will find that a number of soft skills also will correspondingly improve, and you thereby become more effective in whatever you do. So, you should strive to cultivate this noble quality. In addition to the existing courses here, we are offering, starting from this year, MSc in Medical Biotechnology. One of the reasons for starting this course is the coronavirus pandemic, which is wreaking havoc all over the world. The pandemic has shown the vulnerability of human society in spite of all our advancements in medical sciences. Hence, further studies and research are needed to stop such outbreaks of pandemics in future. Starting of this course is an attempt in this direction. I once again heartily welcome you all to our Mary, and I wish you a very, very rewarding time here. Put your heart and soul to your studies and for cultivating qualities I just mentioned. 
I wish you all the best. Before I wrap up, I must once again thank Swami Atmopriyananda Ji, who in a way is the founder of this great institution. All kudos to him. I pray to Sri Ramakrishna, Holy Mother Sarada Devi, and Swami Vivekananda that they give him more and more strength to go onward and forward. Thank you. Thank you so very much.